Hello everyone. Today we have these vintage Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band trading cards. Got bubblegum trading cards from 1978. This still has the gum in it. It's unopened. Okay, we're going to open it up and taste the gum to see if it's still good. Before we go do that, let's go over the whole package. Here we have Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Now remember, this is from 1978. This is not the Beatles. This is the Bee Gees. This is not the famous Beatles album that I have across over on the side here. Right here. It's not the famous one I have on the side here. This is the Bee Gees. So it is not the Beatles. Just to get that out of the way. For all of you dis disappointed people. So, seven full-color photos, bubblegum cards, 78 Stigwood Group Limited, one stick of gum. Living over on the back. Distributed by Don Rusco, Memphis, Tennessee. Made and printed in USA. Dextrose, corn syrup, sugar, gum base, artificial flavor, and colors, BHT, Added as a preservative, copyright Don Russ, Super Bubble, America's favorite gum. Let's open it up now. Okay. Oh, oh the gum. Oh, sorry, my camera just fell. My camera just fell again. So. I gotta make sure not to damage the package too much, but the gum is stuck. Okay. Okay. There's the package with the gum inside still. No. Oh, okay, let's look at the cards. This card is sticky with gum residue. Battle between Lonely Hearts Club Band and Future Villains card. Lonely Hearts Club Band in BD's oversized limousine. It's a very large limousine. Lonely Hearts Club Band in concert. Funeral possession for Strawberry Fields. Lonely Hearts Club Band at the benefit. Clowns at the benefit. Oh, there's another piece of gum that's stuck to it. Sergeant Pepper Weathervane comes to life. These are supposed to make a puzzle on the back. I don't have this. I just bought one pack. But let's look at the gum. Here is the gum. I'm going to taste it now. It's stale, definitely. Still tastes like gum, though. Tastes terrible. Eh. Bad. Do not eat this. It is bad. Thanks for watching.